Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. For some of you, today starts at like 7 or 8 o'clock a.m. For these girls, it started yesterday morning. At <laughs> 12. At... Mine started at 8.30. 8.30 a.m. These girls have been awake all night long. They pulled an all-nighter. Did you guys go live? Yeah. They always do that. They Wait, go... In an hour and a half, I'll be up for 24 hours. <laughs> It's wait, not no. a good thing. Wait, wait, eight, yeah, that's 24 hours, right? 8.30 to 8.30? Yeah. yeah. I've been up for 24 hours in an hour and a half. Took a sip of Gabby's coffee and we were bouncing off the walls. They took a sip of Gabby's coffee and triple then... Triple shot espresso. Triple shot espresso. I don't know why they thought it was a good thing to do that. Well, we wanted to try it before and after she put the milk and chocolate in it. What happened after Gabby drank the triple shot espresso? <laughs> she drank the whole thing and then went to bed. <laughs> at 4 30 but we drank two sips and we couldn't fall asleep but gabby will sleep all day now too at going to bed at 4 30 she'll sleep all day too gabby sleeps all day anyway were the dogs down here with you the whole night no oh well, even the probably. dogs went to bed it was loud you guys it was loud last night the loudest they've ever been look at this is what i'm talking about those stupid huh? rope toys that the dogs chew this is what i wake up to every single morning like a hundred pieces of rope toy on the ground <laughs> Seconds later, we were screaming. Oh, yeah. It's the first time I've ever heard you guys in the night. It was You guys are so loud last it's night. It just sit there and play card games because we had coffee. Well, we got a busy day today, Sophie, so... Just, just buy us another coffee. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work like that. You need sleep. Oh, Can I have a science test tomorrow? I'm failing it. <laughs> no. I still have to study. It's it's only do you study at all? No. I would help you, but I don't know your math. It's, it's science. science. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the science is like math. There's like V1 plus V2, whatever that is. I, I don't, don't know. know your science. So, where did you guys go live last night? Instagram. Instagram. This is insane. We went the whole entire winter with no snow. And now, I can't even get down to the barn. What the heck? You guys, it's almost up to the top of my boots. You can't tell, but it is. What are you doing? Taking a break, man. I could hardly get down to the barn. So Sam is doing chores. I came down to help him, but look at, look at our muck bucket. How did that happen? Sam, did you bury our muck bucket? The snow buried it. Now I understand why it takes Sam so long to clean the barn. <laughs> I actually love how long it takes him to clean the barn because him taking all morning to clean the barn allows me to clean up the house and get organized and get dressed and do the laundry and all that stuff. And then by the time we're both done chores in the morning, it's always time like for us to do stuff together. I love that. To me, that's a perfect family. Penny, I don't have, I don't have treats with me, but thank you for coming. It's okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, she's so sweet, you guys. Even with those pinned ears. Yesterday when Sophie was riding, at the passive place, it's almost, they mostly ride mares. They have geldings too, but it's mostly like mares. And it's really changed Sophie's life. Like, I love mares. Seems like people can be really divided on what they prefer. And then there's people that don't care. I love mares so much more. And I just enjoy like their desire to be busy and desire to do stuff. But Sophie's always been in the camp that she prefers a gelding. Now that she's been riding at the Pasadena place, she actually is open to buying a mare. And that's new, that's never happened before. All right, so the girls are up and they're down at the barn. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? I fell. She fell coming down. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> How terrible. You look like you're half asleep. You look like death. <laughs> Sophie's pumped. <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Elizabeth, go back up to the house. So we're just gonna do a couple things and then she'll be up there too. Honestly, go rest. All right, so how's it going now? This is like 20 minutes later. Are you guys holding up? No, she's doing this. They're just sitting here talking about how they can't believe how much espresso is so affecting. Three shots. They had a couple of shots of espresso and they were- No, we had two sips. <laughs> two sips. Yeah, we drank the rest. <laughs> And she was able to sleep. And we were bouncing off the walls. So this up. is a perfect example of why you shouldn't put stuff in your body that isn't good for your body because it affects you Have so you ever strongly. Have you before? 
No. You I think, never drink coffee. You think this is bad, staying up and being exhausted from this? You should see what happens with alcohol. Not mm. only do you have this feeling, but you're sick to your stomach and puking. Mm. <laughs> so no, thank you. So let this be a lesson to you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, she's in heat. I saw in the comments that some people are missing Chino. So I decided to come out here and film him in the field. It's just that it's been cold outside and yucky. So we never seem to film Chino out in the field. Plus the wind always takes over the audio. So I always end up just getting like clips with no audio. But here's Penny and Chino, in their morning routine. Maybe I should do like a, a routine so everybody understands our process. When we bring the horses in at the end of the day, when we come down after lunch, like at dinner time, and we film all the things that we do in the arena, we bring Penny into the arena and we put Chino in his cell for the night. But Chino's not alone, and Penny's out here with them, and they love each other, as you saw. <laughs> I'll try and be better filming these guys when they're together. Unfortunately, Penny's in heat. <laughs> You know spring is coming when your horse goes into heat. But I've seen some comments where people are saying, like, you know, your horse has a lot of problems with going into heat and stuff. She only goes into heat through the season, and she only goes in into heat once a month. So she goes into heat like four times a year, practically. And But usually, usually it's just a regular heat. The only issue that we have with her going into heat is that she doesn't, like, open her legs when she when she pees and she puts stuff everywhere. She just lets it run down her legs. And that's the problem that we have is that she's just a messy horse. Not that she goes into heat often or that she's like doing crazy stuff with her heat. She just, I think it's okay that she goes into heat like a regular mare would, especially one that's surrounded by a gelding. All right, so we had a delivery. Sam ordered this for us. Hopefully I can pick up new baby chicken eggs today because we only have six chickens and I think two of them are boys. These girls are still <laughs> these girls are still over tired and delirious. Yeah. Our house is a mess. We have not cleaned up yet. This is what it looks like when the girls sleep have sleepovers. Oh, guys, she might have her very first pee outside. Go pee. <laughs> it's nice out, it's not too cold, so she can explore. And she's not stressed because she doesn't have the leash on, which I may or may not regret in about a minute. <laughs> Hi, Allie Bear. She looks so big on the camera and so little. Go pee. She's exploring. Just don't take off. <laughs> this is really her first time outside. Ellie, come on, Ellie. Come on. Oh my gosh, she's eating something. She's eating horse poo. Don't eat horse poo. Her first horse poo. Ew. Ellie. We had the horses up here earlier. You're disgusting. Ellie. You eat horse poop. Oh, you're so little. Come on. Come on. Let's see if she follows me. Come on. Come on, little baby. Come on. Oh, what a good girl. Come on. Good girl. Can't wait to bring her outside and play with her. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Come on. Sophie and I picked up two dozen eggs today. We just picked them up now. Um, we got some really light green. I don't know if you can tell. Some pink. Some dark ones. Dark ones are really hard to hatch and I'm going to, I have a whole new plan for this batch of eggs. And then we even got some um, olive eggs. So these are olive. These are like a pink hue. 
and then we got the dark ones and then we have one tan one one light one but then I got those all over again the same exact color so we're hoping to get some chickens that lay all these color of eggs I figured out this I have to get rid of this see it says 11% humidity and this one says 50% humidity so Whenever I would see it go down this low, I'd fill it up with water, thinking it was so low. I think I just need to change the battery in this, and that's what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm going to use this one. All right, that is a lot of eggs. This is supposed to hold 24, and I can barely get them in. I actually have something that's supposed to roll them for me. I don't know why I didn't use them. I don't know why I didn't use it. All right, there we go. More eggs. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 